Hey everyone, my name is Kai and welcome to my channel. We are back with more Madison and in the previous part I got um, the key to Johnny's room so I think we're gonna open that in this part um, and I am also on the lookout for the last number for the combo of the small door um, with the chair that room you know um, I think this might be the last part for Madison uh, I'm not so sure I feel like we're at the end of the game already because I think I've done almost everything that is needed to be done in the house maybe we will go to another section I don't know I still don't know what I need to do with the yellow um, with the clock and also the the concrete block I thought I needed to hang the concrete block on the place where we found the unfinished clock but I was wrong uh, I think I need to do something with the unfinished clock maybe finished it off like you know completed it and then put it back where it where I found it and then it will trigger something who knows um, I guess we're just gonna find out in this part so uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue our journey with Madison here we go okay we are back. There's a lot of money in there, Luca. You should, you should actually take it though. <laughs> Once we survive this, we're just gonna blow it off with some chill time traveling around the world. Because seriously, dude, you need some chill time. Okay, so use this. The last room of the house. Well, not technically the last room, but the last room that we can go into so far. Ah, I guess this is where we need the um concrete block. Oh. This used to be Dad's room. Okay. What happened in here? There's a rat? In order to save the bird, the rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. The snake below the rat remained while the shark in the depths. This plan design. Dad, what the fuck were you doing in here, Dad? Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Blue knees. I seen it. Huh. Oh. Okay, snake. Let's get that. Okay, what was it again though? The rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. The snake below the rat remained. While the shark in the depths. This plan design. The snake below the rat remained while the shark in the depths. This, this plan design. So does that mean the snake has to be below the rat? So the snake has to have the heaviest one. Which I think is this one. Okay. The rabbit has to be the highest one. So... I think the rat has to have... The lightest one, and then the shark has to be in the center. No, that didn't do it. Okay, maybe this one is wrong. This one, and this one. Try to. Uh, this. And this. No. Or maybe... The rat. The rabbit. Not the rat. The rabbit. No. Well... The snake below the rat remained while the shark in the depths. Oh! The depths. I think that means the shark has to be the heaviest. And then... The snake has to be below the rat. 
Is that it? No. Can I still go out? I can go out. Okay. The rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. But does that mean? Can I go in here though? It's not. Is there any? Is there any other concrete block that I need to get, just in case? I feel like I'm missing one though. Oh! This? Did I do it? Oh no, no, I did not. Okay, okay, I just need this thing. Okay, 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 got it, got it, got it. Oh wait, I think I got it. Oh, it's locked. Do I need my bolt cutter? I have a bolt cutter. Wait, but how do I do it though? I can't take it anymore. Yeah, I can't take it with me. Do I need to do something? Oh, I need to take a picture. <laughs> right, I forgot about this. There you go. Okay. Blue knees. That's the book, isn't it? So this is the book that everyone was talking about? A long, long time ago, there was a creature whose name was unknown. It had always lived alone and was often seen on its own. One freezing frosty night, it began to feel so very somber that it, feel that it fell into a two-day slumber. By the third day, it woke up in blackness with an illness so serious that both its eyes had vanished in the darkness. The creature creeped out of the bed and started crawling, looking for the eyes it knew for sure were rolling. It slithered and rolled in it slithered and rolled so its knees turned blue and sore, since its eyes popped and tumbled, both of them as dust crumbled. So it is to this day that it does not have a clue, but that is no excuse to end the pursuit. Now beware those fleeting eyes and make sure to turn on the lights for your own sight is at stake if you cannot escape. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> He's afraid of the light, use something bright for protection. The light just went off, I can... I realized <laughs> on this side of my screen, <laughs> the lights went off. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Wait, look at this dude, man. Oh my god. You know what this reminded me of, though? Okay, game, can you give me a sec? Let me just um, tell a story here. Um, years ago, I think it was back in 2018 or 19. I think it was in 2018. I've, um, I've watched like a video. On YouTube where this girl is just like reading about posts on Twitter and apparently there's this case about um, oh god I don't remember the name though something about Robert or something basically it's like someone is posting about his daily life and updates about his daily life on Twitter and as it goes by it seems like this guy is being haunted by an entity and that entity is called I don't know its name though but like it's something like he kept on having these nightmares about this kid and in the nightmare this kid um, always sits at um, I think the chair in front of his bed 
So one day he met with another kid in his dream, and then the kid was like, "Okay, don't mention the 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 other kid's name or something like that." And then one day he actually mentioned it, and then the kid apparently uh, comes and haunts him, something like that. I don't remember the name of the story though, but it really creeps me out up to a point where I can't sleep for like two weeks straight. They said it's like a it's like a gimmick, you know. It's not an actual. It's, it's not an actual story. It's, it's like people came up with it just to scare other people. But for me, I feel like it's true, and it's really, really fucking creepy. <laughs> and this fucking image reminded me of that kid, <laughs> because there's like pictures of that kid itself on Twitter on this guy's Twitter page. He apparently caught a picture of um of the kid. Um, and he posted it on Twitter, and it's just fucking, fucking scary. And oh my god, this this exactly reminded me of that kid. And I have a feeling that I might not be able to see tonight <laughs> now that I think about that story. <laughs> okay, blue knees. Oh, why are we here? Where are we? The, the room has changed. David, the, the 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 ghost's name is David. I think the kid's name is David. Something hush David or something. I don't know. Um, yeah. If you guys know about that one, please do read it. It's fucking creepy as fuck, man. For me, it is. So something about like hush David or silent David. No, I can use something here. Take a picture. Eyeballs? Okay. Hi, my I name know is this is Johnny. impossible. But I think Dad wrote this. Oh, was he trying to talk with the ghost kid? No, mm -mm. we are not doing that now. No, 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 no. <laughs> not after I recall my memory of that fucking story back then no that mm, no 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 oh my god what the fuck is that that is the kid isn't it what's his name again blue knees oh whose name was unknown Oh, this was it. This was the room that I can't go in. Huh. But I'm confused. Like, what's the what's the connection between the the creature and Madison? I have a new friend, his name is Blue Knees. Okay, well. Hey, Blue Knees. I'm fucking worried that he might just jump into my face, so I don't want that. I fucking don't like that at all. There's a lot of let there's a lot of notes there on the floor though. Looney's is always in the dark. He hates the light. I bet there's gonna be one level where everything went dark and I have to be really careful with my 
with where I move. Nope, we're not playing that shit. No, no. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Maybe I should go somewhere else first. You know, explore some places. Oh fuck, I have a feeling that I need to listen to that now. But it's really loud though. So really, really loud. There's no fucking door. I was about to close that fucking door. be like that isn't it he's gonna stalk us he's gonna stalk us and I have to be and I have to be fast and I have to be ready do I have the eyeball with me okay I do how many eyeballs do I have to give Does it say how many eyeballs I have to give? Only two, right? to figure out the movements here like how do I know like I can't hide there's no limit right as to how much I can die and I should go here first But they did mention that Blue Knees doesn't like the light, so do I have to take a picture of it? Blue Knees says, I have pretty eyes. Fuck me! <sighs> oh, 
shit. Okay, 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 okay. Because he says that they say that they, he doesn't like light, and we're in like a very bright room, so why the hell is he attacking us though? I can't get the, the eyeball. Is there a right eyeball and a wrong one? I don't know. I kept looking at my small screen, just by the way. Just FYI. Is that a wrong one? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. This one is locked. Okay, I already got that one. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? Should I hide? I can't hide, so I need to go around the other way. But how? He will still get me, though. Okay, so basically, I have to take a picture of Blue Knees once he approached us. But I'm not so sure if I have to time it right or I can just, you know straightly take a picture of him while he's not in the room you know because sometimes he kind of blinks sometimes he's there sometimes he's not there so i'm not sure um i can still t take his picture when he's not there maybe i just have to time it right though <clears throat> let's try that again and apparently there's like a few of those what did what did they call it again gramophones yeah gramophones there's like a few of those gramophones scattered around the houses, or scattered around the house. So I need to find all of them. And two out of all of them um, has no eyeballs. So I'm thinking that the second one that I got did not have the eyeball. It's just a plain eyeball. So, yep, he's around here. Okay, let me try this again. Show your pride, Luca. Show your pride. No, no, no. I time it wrong. Shit. I time it wrong. Fuck. Okay. So I'm guessing that I have to time it right. It doesn't. It doesn't work if he's not. If he's. If he blinked. So. I call it blinked. I don't know if that's the right term for it. <laughs> okay. 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 I might not get this. Right, guys. I think I might have to do it, redo it over and over again. I think I'm good. I need to do this really fast. Because the thing is that this the song is really long. It's, it's too long for me to do all of this. For me to be fast. And if I stop, I'm not sure if I stop, I have to repeat it all over again. That's not it. 
That's not it. So two of them. Okay, so I got two. So the next one that I'm going should be the one that has the the eyeball. Let me see. Oh, he's so fast. Shit. Okay. Well, good news is that I don't, I I found two that doesn't have the eyeball, so the rest should be fine. Okay. 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 I don't know if I can run though. this way <laughs> the house feels like a maze I'm sure this is what grandma was referring to in her diary this is the third one Gonna be another verse. Okay. Yeah. That's Hands out. There you go. Fuck you, bitch. Got it. Do I only need two? No. Why am I still holding that thing? That's the C. Oh, it's here. It's just right in front of me. <coughs> If there's a creaking sound, then I really need to stop. Oh, that's not it. Fuck. Oh, maybe not two then. It's coming. Maybe I need to be a little bit closer. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm so tense. <sighs> okay. I have to keep on looking for the thing. Oh, wait. I have one with me. Let me just... Yeah. So Grandma wasn't sick at all. This thing is what really killed her. Oh, wait. Did I do it? Oh, I only need two. Okay. Oh, fuck. 
me. <laughs> okay. Oh no. My active window's watermark is back. I was so scared up to a point where the active windows is back. You gotta use the camera right now. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. I guess we need to go to the um to the room then and use the combo. Luca, Luca, Luca. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, well, thanks for closing all the doors for me. I'm... I'm kind of... I'm kind of hurt right now. So, yeah, thanks for that. Combo. Close. Oh no, not not close it on my face. Oh Luca. I feel so bad for him. Okay, so I got the combo now. Uh what was it? I think the recent one is five, right? So it's three eight two five? It's the ashes, isn't it? Elizabeth Maxwell. Okay, wait, what can I do? Oh. oh, he's turning blue, though. Dad's head, the hang sun. I don't have Dad's head. But I don't have dad's head. What am I supposed to do? Oh, the camera. Is he gonna kill himself? <laughs> oh, the Sasha is looking at me. Oh no.
Madison. There's gonna be one last jump scare. I'm sure of it. Can't move though. You can't. Oh, the camera took a picture. Can we see that picture though? Oh! Oh, it's burned! Hmm. Boom! One last jump scare. No? Okay, no. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <gasps> Oh wait, no, that's it. Wow, Alexis Di Stefano. Wait, that's the name in the tombstone, right? The one that uh that I found while I was making my way to the cathedral. Ah, huh. okay, Madison. Okay, wait, the only one dude. Only one person is uh, working on this game. Alberto Di Stefano, Alexa Di Stefano, David Loverna. Okay, well, look at Maxwell. I'm trying to like <clears throat> process of what I've just played and what I've just um, experienced. <laughs> Like, no way, what's the connection again between Luca and Madison? No way, I know the connection between Luca and Madison, but what's with what's with the Blue Knees book? Like, what is that? What's the connection between that and and what's going on with uh with Luca and Madison? Is that like a like a like a side story or something? I feel like it is. Okay, we are done with Madison. Holy shit. Okay. Um honestly this is like my weakest section of doing all these playthroughs is when I try to let you guys know about my opinions of the games that I played <laughs> because I have a very hard time into uh into trying to exp into trying to explain what I do like about the game and what I don't like about the game. So yeah, I have a few questions though. I do know that the book um, Blue Knees is the one that... Uh, wait, what's his name again? Albert? Is that his name? Albert Maxwell and Elizabeth Maxwell, right? I think so. Albert is the grandpa, Elizabeth is the grandma. Johnny is the dad, Luca is the son. Okay, so I do know that the book was um, bought by Albert and Johnny was the one who read it but I don't understand what's the connection with that and what's going on with uh, Luca and Madison is that like a side I feel like it's a side story because that's what happened with the grandma the grandma was like facing all of this and yeah I, I really don't see the connection though I think the game maybe told me the connection um, but I just don't see it. So if you guys know, 
uh, do let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I think that's the only one that I'm quite um, confused about. And the last part, when we had to put the camera on the um, on the pillar, I'm just gonna call it a pillar. It says that's to put Dad's head on the pillar, but why do we have to put Luca's camera on the pillar? What does that mean? Because I do know that Luca is the last um, is the last victim. She killed six victims, right? She killed six people. Wait, did she kill six people though? I feel like she killed six people. Or did she kill five? Maybe she killed four. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. That's right. Because in the um, in the container, Madison's container has four victims, and then Lucas has two because she killed the mother and the uh, and the sister. So the last one is him. Oh, uh, so he is the last victim in Madison's ritual. I see, I see, I got it now. So basically, Madison managed to uh, to consume Luca and uh, persuade him to kill himself to finish the ritual off. Okay, got it, got it. So Madison got what he what she wanted. Then she finished her unfinished business. But yeah, I think the storyline was really good. Not gonna lie, I like the whole um, ritual thing and finding out the truth behind Madison and what's her what's her intention and um, knowing. Um, about her victims as we were going through the elevator that was really good I really like that part it's really creepy to just listen uh, the officer telling us what he what they find regarding about Madison's victims that was really cool like my first opinion of this game like my first playthrough I really do like it I think I've mentioned so many times in the previous parts where I feel like I don't want the game to end because I'm having so much fun uh, the jump scares itself was really good but I think there are one point of the game where I feel like it's kind of a little bit overused. Like before this, I kind of understand, okay, a Madison, she likes to show up once in a while, you know, and jump scares really worked on me. But up until one point where I feel like she kept on showing up over and over again, and that's when I felt like the jump scare was a little bit overused because it's just repetitive, you know, like I can expect when she's gonna come up to a point where I feel like, oh my god, okay, Madison, like just let's just, you know, go away and just let me do my thing <laughs> already, you know? Um, but then when we got to the blue knee section, that was really good as well. But I feel like because I did not know what to do when I'm facing off with blue knees, it kind of feel a little bit annoying. Um, I should have known that I can use my camera, but then again, I have to time it right in order for me to like avoid uh, the death grip of blue knees. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I only managed to do it once, you know, because you ha really have to time it right because he likes to blink a lot. And if I would have the ability to maybe hide or like get his picture easily, I might have liked it a little bit more. All in all, I feel like this is a very fun game. It was um, really fun going through it. Kudos to the developers. I think there's like two or three people who uh, who worked on this game. I mentioned there's only one just now because I only seen one name with the um uh, as a as a writer and director. So I think there's like a few more people that worked on this game. So kudos to you guys. This was a really fun game, and I really and I had so much fun going through it with that being said that's it for my madison playthrough thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one thank you guys bye